Holy crap, buckle up. Oculus just launched a huge update for the Quest platform, and it's a doozy. Let's take a look and see what's included, and we'll do a quick walkthrough. First of all, let's talk about the update everyone's been waiting for, and that is the 90 Hertz update for the Oculus Quest 2. The brand new firmware update version 23 unlocks 90 Hertz mode by default on the Oculus Quest 2. If you don't know what that means, 90 Hertz essentially makes the movement considerably smoother and it's a pretty well known fact that it actually helps with motion sickness, so you'll be less likely to actually get motion sickness the higher the refresh rate. The release notes say starting off, the system level software will start at 90 hertz. Additional app adoption is based on developer discretion. And then over in the blog post, it actually gives a list of games that currently support 90 hertz, and those are Super Hot, Echo VR, Beat Saber, Vacation Simulator, Job Simulator, Racket NX, and Space Pirate Trainer. As long as you have the version 23 software and the latest update to this game, you'll be able to run it at 90 hertz completely wirelessly on your Oculus Quest 2. The thing is though, is not only is 90 hertz launching on the Quest 2 for native Quest games, it's also launching on Oculus Link right now as well. In fact, Oculus Link is completely coming out of beta and it's getting a bump up in quality and it's allowing you to use 90 Hertz. In the blog post, it says as part of V23, we've also improved Oculus Link's visual quality and provided a new interface to manage your graphics settings. This is the same place we are going to adjust it to turn on 90 Hertz mode. In fact, you can actually have it on 72 Hertz, 80 Hertz like the Rift S or 90 Hertz even better than the Rift S. That's right in the settings on the Oculus desktop application, all you have to do is click on your Quest 2 device and then go over and look at the Graphic Preferences tab. There you'll see the option to switch from 72 to 80 to 90 hertz, plus the option to adjust the graphical performance. In fact, you can push this up to 1.5 times resolution, and I gotta tell you, I tested it out quickly and compared the two, and even though I couldn't get a good screenshot to really show the difference, it does make a visual quality difference. That bump up in resolution resolution plus the ability of having 90 hertz effectively takes the Quest 2 and turns it into an even better PC VR headset. 90 hertz is great, but that's not the only thing launching in this update. Far from it. In fact, one of the biggest things being asked for on the Quest platform for a long time has been the ability to gift applications. And yes, that is coming with this update. It's not out quite yet, but it will be coming. In fact, it's going to be as easy as going into the browser or mobile Oculus stores, finding the button that says buy for a friend and then sending them the application. The blog post says with the holidays right around the corner, it's the perfect time of the year to gift a few games to the Oculus owner in your life. And we're excited to get this feature in your hands. After all, we're only a week away from the Black Friday Oculus store sale, which leads me to believe that this is going to be an option to gift before the Black Friday sale. In fact, it gets me excited that there is a Black Friday sale. So that's it, right? That's all the updates? No, not even close. Let's talk about another big update, and that is Oculus Move. Oculus Move isn't currently available to everyone. It's out in a rolling basis, but it is the new fitness platform designed by Oculus to work with the Quest, kind of like the VR version of a Fitbit. This allows you to track the estimated calories burnt in different games as you play. You can put in your personal information like your height and your weight and set goals. It just allows you to keep better track of the activities you're doing in virtual reality. You can even sort them based by application and see exactly how many calories each game is burning for you, which ones are the most effective, and if you're crushing your goals. I wanted to show this to you in the walkthrough, but unfortunately I do not have access to this as of yet, but as soon as I do, I'm gonna check it out and hopefully put a new video out specifically about Oculus Move. There's also been an update to the casting on the Oculus Quest. It's supposed to make it more stable, but also gives you another option to cast to your PC by going to oculus.com slash casting. You can cast to either a Google Chrome browser or the Microsoft Edge browser. You need to sign in with your Facebook profile and then when you're in your headset, all you have to do is navigate to the share tab and then click on the 
cast to computer. On top of that, the iOS and Android applications are getting an update to allow you to actually capture in the application what you're seeing coming from the headset so you can save it to your camera roll, make edits of it so you have highlights right from your mobile device, which to me makes it even easier for people that want to become content creators here on YouTube or whatever platform to be recording videos and be able to edit it if you don't have a PC. So those are all the major updates. Let's jump into the headset and do a quick walkthrough of some of the features and changes in the UI and inside of the settings on the Oculus Quest 2. All right, here we are inside of the Oculus Home on the Oculus Quest 2. There's really just a couple of things I want to show you with this update. I, I'm using it and it is running at 90 hertz right now. There's probably not, not a lot you can tell from that because this will be rendered at 60 frames per second, so you won't see much. Uh, but I can show you a couple of the things that are inside of the new update of version 23. The first of these things that I think is one of the best updates for the UI is this little bar down here. You can see the white bar right here. You can now move your bar around wherever you want, which is pretty cool. It only goes to the side so far, up and down so far. So you can't like put it all the way behind you, but it still allows you to move it around, which I think is pretty awesome. It gives some options. Now if we could just have them give you the ability to hide this so you can look at your environment as a whole, instead of having to look up and recenter, then that would be awesome. But the ability to move around is pretty cool. I thought that was pretty awesome. You'll also notice that uh, this little share button right here is a different look to it. It just looks a little bit different. Nothing's really changed in there uh, as far as um, the the buttons here, though. That, although I'll show you really quick. You can go to cast. There's the computer cast. You'd click on this, this cast to your personal link, oculus.com slash casting, and view on a supported web browser such as Google Chrome. So if you click on this, you'll be able to pick the browser that you're on, because you'll, what you'll do is you'll go into the browser first, and you'll actually set it up so that it's ready for casting on your computer. Then you click on this, pick the browser, and it'll start casting there automatically. And it does cast in a square aspect ratio, just like you would when it records in the Quest, which is actually better because you're not losing the tops and bottoms of the image. So that's all for this area for updates. Now we'll go back to the main area here. Let's go to the settings, actually. We're going to go up and go to the device settings because in here we've got a couple of changes that uh, I think are pretty cool. One of which is the ability to actually add an unlock pattern. I don't know if you even knew you could do that uh, to the Quest inside of the device. You used to have to go into the application to do this on your phone or your mobile device. Now you can actually set up an unlock pattern on your device without having to get to your phone. The text size is another thing that you can change now. If you need the text to be bigger or you want it to be smaller, you can adjust it from small all the way up to largest. I haven't seen how large that is. I'm guessing it's pretty large, but you have to do a reset of the device to actually show that. So I'm not going to do that right now just because uh, it would be a pain in the butt. Unfortunately, that's pretty much it for the walkthrough. I'd love to show you more with the move uh, fitness section, but unfortunately I just don't have that yet. They haven't given me access to it as of yet, but that's really all that's changed for the UI. Most of the stuff that's changing in this is all internal software stuff that we're not going to actually see, like the 90 hertz for instance, or the ability to gift applications. And in order to do that, you actually have to be in the app or on the browser. Anyways, that's pretty much it for what I can actually show you physically inside of the walkthrough on the new update. So there you go. There is a walkthrough and overview of version 23, the newest update to the Quest platform. This is a rolling update just like all of them are, so you may not get it right away. It's going to be rolling out to different people in different areas over the course of the next week or so. So if you don't have it yet, don't panic. It's coming soon and you should have it in your hands very quickly. Out of all of these updates, which one are you most most excited for. I've got to say, I love the 90 hertz, and I'm really looking forward to the fitness thing. But one of the coolest parts is being able to gift applications to people that are friends and family, and I'm really liking the ability for Christmas to send out some brand new games to some of my friends and family. Out of all these updates, what is the one thing you're looking forward to? Let me know down in the comments. If you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and happy questing.